welcome back to my subscribers. If you're not already a subscriber, I'll put a link here for you. Today I want to talk about snares. Now, depending on your location, snares may be legal and they may not be legal. So you need to check them before you set anything out. Plus, you need to decide if you need to set snares or not. And uh, in this case here, the snares that you're going to see are on a managed property, which down in Texas, where I'm located at, a lot of people high fence their property and they try to maintain a genetic uh, dominance of the deer that's on the property. And they, you need to do this every once in a while by bringing in for fresh genes into the gene pool because basically you have a captive audience that's uh, breeding with each other. So in order to keep the gene from too much interbreeding, you bring in new genes. So you bring in bred animals, bred doe that are bred with some, some trophy buck somewhere. So these deer are usually very tame. They're raised in a captive environment. You can't pet them or anything, but they just don't know what the dangers are because they live in a sheltered life. So when you bring these deer in, they're very susceptible to predators like coyotes and, and uh, bobcats and such, especially the, the babies. But uh, even, the, even the does don't know how to jump a fence even because there's no fences for them to jump because they live in small pens, small meaning a couple of acres as they're raised. So you need to make sure that your predators are reduced so you don't want to lose these animals because you pay a lot as a landowner for these bred animals. And one way of doing that is to put snares up around the perimeter of your fenced in uh, property. So a snare basically is going to catch an animal as it comes through a hole or a little opening in the fence and it'll choke them to death pretty much. It's a pretty brutal way to go. but. You know, you got to do something to protect your investment. And so it's real simple. You attach this end to the fence or to an anchor somewhere, and then you set the size of the snare to the size of the animal. So if you're trying to, have, say, a coyote, for example, you don't need something this large. You're going to catch something like a pig. Um, so you need a head. You need to adjust the size of the snare to you know, the size of whatever animal it is you, you want to get. You don't want to get anything bigger. You, you want to trap what you want to trap. You don't want to trap uh, other animals that really don't need it. And so keep that in mind when you set these things. And basically how it works is like a noose. They come through their holes, so this will be set up. They come through, they get stuck on it, and then it tightens around the neck. And they can't, it won't get loose. You know, there's no, they don't have hands or anything like that. And these little snares, they lock up. So they're basically stuck there they're gonna die probably a very painful death. And so, you know, it's, it's not for the, the faint of heart to set stuff like this. So I'll throw some video footage here in the end and so you can see some of the snares in action. So be sure and like and share the video. It really helps with the ratings. And don't forget to subscribe for more hunting and shooting videos. Thanks.